Today we're going to talk about the Godfall Endgame and specifically about Electrum and what needs to actually change. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. First and foremost, I want to apologize to each and every one of you for being gone so long. My PC was having a midlife crisis and it is finally, finally fixed. Or at least, I hope. But I'll get into all of that in another video. Real quick, watch this. Ready? Salvage all. 128,220 Electrum. Look at all that Electrum. Not just that, but all of the Electrum that I have on my character. Currently, I have 571,492. For all those who don't know, Electrum is the main in-game currency that you use to upgrade and enchant all of your gear. Getting Electrum can become very scarce when you are constantly upgrading gear prior to reaching level 50 and even after that. One thing I will say to new players is do not, I repeat, do not upgrade your gear until after you reach level 50 and have acquired level 50 gear. You will be wasting resources if you do. Okay, so how did I get all of this Electrum? Well, that answer is pretty simple. I grinded the shit out of the tower and didn't waste Electrum on things that I didn't need. Yes, I could have put Electrum towards a new Valor Play build from which I do plan on doing, but I feel that there would be a better use for it if the devs added something simple to the game. Now, I'm gonna throw a concept at you. The Godsmith Zenon is currently useless. Zenon, Zenon, however you want to say his name. As soon as you save him in the story, he gets brought to the Seventh Sanctum, and then he allows you to upgrade and enchant your gear, which is perfectly fine. Other than that, he doesn't do anything. I feel that since he is a Godsmith, which is technically a gunsmith, he should also be like an armory store as well. Either you pay him to make weapons and gear, with random rolls of course, or you can just buy weapons and gear that he would already have. The catch to both of these scenarios is that the godsmith cannot make a weapon that you have not already acquired in the game. This includes the tower weapons that roll with two random primary and secondary stats. The higher the rarity, the more Electrum it would cost to either make or buy items from the Godsmith. But how would you make this happen? And what would it actually look like? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I actually made an Excel sheet to show you. <laughs> now, this chart will be accessible whenever you hit level 50. This also means that every piece of gear that you would get from Xenon would also be level 50. With any type of store, shop, etc., there needs to be a standard. For this, all of the items with the same rarity are treated the same. For example, an uncommon weapon and an uncommon amulet all cost the same and resources to make. This creates simplicity within the game. Also, you can only buy or craft items at the rarity that they drop. For example, you will never see a rare Sword of Courage because the Sword of Courage only drops as a legendary. Let's take a look at the chart and I'll show you guys how simple this actually is. Row 1 is pretty much the name of the chart. In row 2 we have item rarity, time to craft, electrum cost, and crafting materials. In the item rarity column we have all of the rarities in the game except common. Now no one is going to buy a level 50 common item because well they don't really do anything special. So we have Uncommon, Rare, Epic, Legendary, and Special Legendary. Now, Special Legendary are weapons that drop in the tower that have two primary and two secondary stats when they drop. Time to Craft is pretty much a concept where it only applies if we are taking the crafting route of the shop instead of just the buying route. For the buying route, we would just buy the items without waiting. And because of the difference between the buying route and the time to craft, I had to actually make a good balance with the time to craft, the electrum cost, and crafting resources, and this is what I came up with. Uncommons take 60 seconds to make, 2500 electrum, and are only 10 common crafting resources. Common crafting resources are the ones easily found on the ethereums, 
like air sigils and your infused jasper. I also added rare crafting resources for the higher tier gear. Rare crafting resources are like your primal quintessence and your orb of oblivion. So rare gear takes three minutes to craft, cost 5,000 electrum and are 15 crafting resources. Epic gear takes seven minutes to make, costs 7,500 electrum and 20 crafting resources. Now this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Legendary gear takes 15 minutes to make, cost 10,000 electrum and require 25 common crafting resources and 20 rare crafting resources. Special legendary gear, which are technically just weapons that drop in the tower, take 25 minutes to make, cost 15,000 electrum, and they take 35 common and 30 rare crafting resources to make each. So that is the chart for crafting gear, but we can actually go a little bit more in depth with it as well. So we would be able to craft multiple items at the same time, regardless of rarity. We could take that even further where we could actually lock a secondary stat and then have Zenin re-roll the other stats. Both of these options are great ways in trying to acquire the perfect god roll on gear. But this is just a concept. I'm not saying that this is going to happen or it won't. The devs have been pretty quiet on what is to come in the future, except for a few things. I do want to remind everyone that there is a new primal content update, which is free to everyone and it is coming sometime in early 2021. That content will be followed later on by expansion one for Godfall if you bought the Ascended Edition or just wanted to go ahead and buy the expansion on its own. Now, it is possible that something like this crafting chart could be implemented in one of those releases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on if you actually like this concept of Zenin being a vendor as well if you guys would add or change anything, or if you guys don't see something like this come into the game and why. And with that said, this brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.